today we have with us mrs shubhra mohan ka director of gautam solar could you please take us through the business journey of gautam solar along with its vision and mission yes sir so uh, gautam solar was started 25 years back and it has always been in the area of solar module manufacturing the vision and mission of the company is to basically contribute to the clean energy space because india is going to become a net zero country by 2030 that's the target that has been taken by the government and gautam solar wants to be a significant player in contributing to that in what in uh, by the method of indigenous solar module manufacturing uh discuss the product range of your company along with the usps what steps are taken by gautam solar to ensure quality products so the products that we are right now doing are monopop technology which we are going up to 550 watt the new ones that we are coming up is with the n type n type top cone which is going to 580 watt these are the two uh, major technologies that is going in the market the usp is one is a fully automated unit complying to all un and iic standards secondly top cone gives you a definite advantage in the same land area you can put and generate a higher wattage in this in the same constraints etc that is a big benefit that is there for developers for utility scale companies for etc companies the people who are putting up rooftop solar projects so what new does your company have in store to showcase for rei expo 2023 i guess two new things in terms of technology we have entire top one which is giving you a 5% more power output related to a monopop in the same land area that is one number two is our capacity expansion plans for 2 gigawatt uh what have been the recent developments and achievements of gotham solar see recent developments and achievements have been like we started exporting to us markets we have bought in entire top one we have also just filed patents for uh, indigenization of machines that we have done this is an area which nobody else is focusing on because all of us are dependent upon china for the import of machines but uh, but in uh, but gotham solar has started indigenization of the machines and the automation is required to produce solar panels so we have a big differentiation in us that we are bringing to the table that is great ma'am all the best and uh, the next question would be gotham solar is planning to expand its annual solar module manufacturing capacity from 1 gigawatt to 2 gigawatt by the end of 2024 yeah tell us more about this expansion plan so basically what we are doing is we have divided in four phases we'll be doing it every quarter we'll be adding a 250 megawatt plant to our existing capacity we have taken land both in uh, haryana as well as in uh, Uttarakhand is already North India's largest manufacturer, and this will further consolidate our position. Gautam Solar earned a new IP tool for busing process for yeah. solar panels. Yeah. Could you shed some light on the USPs of this design? So I think the USP of this design is one that nobody else is working on hardcore technology and patenting for the manufacturing process which is used for panels. This is the most important thing at the end of the day. Secondly, what it does is that the auto busing comes with the same set of complications, and manual busing is something that you can't do if you want reliable panels. So this is something in the middle which helps us to do, get all the benefits of the auto busing, but at the same time reducing the manual, increasing the production process, and not the tool is not is helping us where so those no misalignments can happen and the thing can happen. or that we without uh, causing any disruptivity the panel uh, kindly comment on the current and upcoming trends in the solar industry so basically the trend one is um, in the solar industry in india i would say the trend is towards moving towards entire top one because uh, land is the biggest constraint area in that particular thing and if you are able to give a technology which gives you higher wattage in a similar area, land area it will help you in worldwide uh, india on solar module and factors are getting good recognition people looking at china plus one strategy or completely in their strategy so there is a good time for indian module manufacturers we can be the next it industry of india so sure. yeah. uh, share your outlook on the government policies for the solar energy sector a uh, share your outlook so i think government policies have been good i expect that the lmm exemption will be uh, you know which will be renewed will the exemption will be taken away and the lmm rule will again kick in so that it gives it gives us more um, no uh, you know it gives the module manufacturers a required uh, permit uh, mm -hmm. so that our modules can also be uh, you know the developers utility sector will be more accepting to the indian solar modules uh, the last question would be where according to you does india stand in the global re scenario what gives us an edge and what more needs to be done i think what gives us an edge is that we have a very healthy domestic ecosystem mm -hmm. so our products are already getting used in india 
and now when they're getting exported to the world, people can see because they are very uh, low cost based. Uh, I mean, I'm not uh, comparing to China, mm -hmm. but if you look outside of China, they are one of the uh, highest number of engineers, technically skilled people in India, and who are making uh, solar modules. So I think our modules could be perfect for the worldwide uh, global exports.